So, a few days ago we got the information that, in collaboration with Samsung, Google is making its own chipset code named Whitecapel for the upcoming Pixel devices. And now, a new report claims that Google's most mysterious Fuchsia operating system is now being developed more openly, including accepting contributions from the public. According to me, it looks like Google is on its way to establish a seamless ecosystem that can be as good as the Apple's ecosystem and may even becomes better with time. So, what do you guys think about it, let me know in the comments down below. But before further we do, if you do end up liking what you see here, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now let's get back to the video. So, for the longest time, Google's new Fuchsia operating system remained a bit of a mystery, with little information in terms of the company's plans for it. These days, we know that it's Google's first attempt at developing a general-purpose operating system that promises to be more than just an experiment. The Fuchsia OS is unique because it's not based on a Linux kernel, instead, it uses a microkernel called Zircon. It's also unique because, despite being developed in the open on publicly browsable repositories, nobody really understands what the OS is for. According to Google officials, Fuchsia is a long-term project to create a general-purpose open-source operating system, and today Google is expanding Fuchsia's open-source model to welcome contributions from the public. So, when it comes to smartphone releases, Google is not exactly known for its ability to keep a secret. The Pixel 5 is still hot out of the oven, but leaks about its successor are already flooding the online space. It seems that Google's mobile hardware roadmap has leaked, and now it's circulating around the web, creating hype and fueling the rumor mill. So, there are three code names mentioned in the leaked document, Raven, Oriole, and Passport. According to PhoneArena.com, Raven and Oriole could be Pixel 6 models, while Passport bears the exciting possibility to see a foldable device with the G brand on it. So, what do you guys think about Google experimenting all these new things? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.